What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and of course I didn't make a video on this Le'Veon Bell signing yesterday because we had the rebuild and honestly I just didn't care at the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment, see how much better, if at all, the Chiefs will be with Le'Veon Bell. We'll talk about the signing a little bit as well. Of course, like we know, Le Le'Veon Bell or Le'Veon Bell, whatever you want to say. I like Le'Veon, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but of course for the Jets he just never it just never worked out it was a, a decently bad signing for the Jets and a really bad signing by Bell because if I'm not mistaken the Steelers did kind of give in and said you know what whatever we'll sign you and I believe they offered him if not the exact same contract to the Jets maybe even a slight bit more because I remember everyone was like, oh, look at Le'Veon Bell saying he wanted to go to a winner or whatever, and like he chooses the money. And I was like, but didn't Pittsburgh offer him that? I swear. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is I'm, I'm completely wrong here. I swear the Steelers offered almost the exact same contract that the Jets did, which is hilarious because he left a way better offensive line. And now, of course, the uh, the Steelers are in a really, really good spot and. They could be one of those, uh, those I wouldn't say sleeper teams, but technically I would qualify them as a sleeper team uh, for the playoffs and maybe even the Super Bowl, which is a little crazy, but you never know. Uh, but instead, Le'Veon Bell is going to still have a really good chance at the Super Bowl because he's joining the Kansas City Chiefs, who have run the ball pretty damn well. I think they're middle of the pack in the NFL right now. Of course, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire statistically has slowed down since that first game, but you can also make the argument that he has played very good defenses in those times. Uh, you know, right now it's probably the worst time for him for Bell to come in because, of course, uh, he's playing against some somewhat easier defenses soon. Obviously, they're playing the Buffalo Bills, but after that he has Denver. After that he has New York Jets. Ironically, the Jets, you know Bell's going to be playing a lot in that game just to stick it to him. That's going to be a great morale booster for him. So, you know, having to go from Houston to the Chargers... The Ravens, the the freaking Patriots, and the Rams. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, his yards per carry has been decent. They've been trying to run him into the ground in those middle games, but overall, he's been a pretty good rookie. Uh, you know, everyone maybe jumped the gun a little early in that Houston game. Don't get me wrong, he was making great decisions, making great plays, but the Houston Texans defense has been making people look good, especially in the ground game for years, so... I don't really expect much out of that. Uh, regardless, though, this is the Le'Veon Bell story. Uh, I believe he was on IR. I do not know how it works when a trade or a release happens. Surely that whole IR thing goes away, right? So, like, if he actually is healthy to play, which I do not know if that's the case. I mean, typically you're put on IR for injury reasons or, I suppose, COVID now. Uh, but for Clyde Edwards-Hilaire's uh, hope... Hopefully he is stuck on IR because obviously he should have some big games coming up. Regardless, let's take a look at what the Chiefs look like now without Le'Veon Bell. I'm not going to lie, with Damian Williams injured, their running back situation is pretty bad. So as much as I was kind of like, did they really need Bell? They kind of did. They honestly kind of did. Offensive line hasn't played bad for the uh, the Chiefs. However, you can see here, uh, Madden-wise, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. Defense. Some uh, things to be desired. I'm not exactly sure all of the starters. I believe Fenton, uh, he was playing a lot of... Uh, it's not Fenton. Who is it? Who the hell am I thinking of? Somebody was... One of the rookies was playing a lot of snaps. I don't think it's Fenton. Fenton's not even a rookie, I don't think. But um, yeah, they had a rookie playing a lot of snaps at corner. Definitely some issues with the Chiefs team. And uh, the Raiders definitely expose a little bit of that. If they played... A solid defense with an at least above average offense, which I know is that's that sounds like a playoff contender already. Uh, you know, the Chiefs aren't unstoppable, they aren't. I mean, obviously, they aren't. They, they lost to the Raiders, which of all teams to lose to isn't the most expected one. Let's just be honest, call it how it is. The real question is, is Le'Veon Bell gonna re emerge as that star running back? I mean, a couple of years ago, some would argue maybe 2016, 2017, that Le'Veon Bell was the best running back in football. No one's even saying he's in the top 20 anymore. So it's going to be very interesting. And speaking of very interesting, it's going to be very hard for the uh, the Chiefs to top this one. However, it's about the playoffs because, let's be honest, if the Chiefs don't make the playoffs, 
it, where did Mahomes go? Did he get injured? What happened? You know. So, uh, barring any injuries, the Chiefs are definitely guaranteed to make the playoffs. More touchdowns than uh, per thousand. I don't. You know what I mean? Forty touchdowns, ten touchdowns per a thousand is usually kind of what you expect, uh, at least in Madden, I guess. So uh, more touchdowns than uh, the yards per thousand, I suppose, for double digit. Uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. That probably isn't going to happen anymore, uh, but a really good season here. 1,071 yards, four touchdowns, receiving Sammy Watkins. Okay, good job, Sammy. Uh, Tyreek Hill with a huge down year in this one. I don't know what this scheme is, but yeah, that's a very bad receiving season for uh, the Chiefs here. Looking at kicking, perfect pretty much from uh, Harrison Butker. I know there's people like, that's not what the word perfect means. Uh, looking at Cam to MVP, of course. If you didn't watch the Patriots rebuild, I'd just, I expect, you know, maybe you should. I, <laughs> I don't know why I said expect or suspect. Uh, I recommend you do. There you go. That's the word. Uh, Mahomes at the fifth best quarterback on the AFC side. That's not even just the NFL. That's just the AFC side. Best running back, Clyde Edwards. He is not even on the list. It's the touchdowns that are crushing him. Touchdowns value very high, which I suppose it makes sense, but it's very easy to force touchdowns. So, I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, looking at the offensive numbers, pure passing numbers, the Chiefs rank around... It's actually really bad. That's maybe like the 20th spot. Rushing will actually count it. Two, three, four, five, six, seventh best rushing attack in the league without Le'Veon, 14-2. and two. Uh, Yikes, I'm going to be honest. I don't see how Le'Veon Bell makes this team better. The question is, do we expect Bell... Hmm. Is it true? I got I to gotta bench him pretty much as well. But here we are going against the Bengals. The Chiefs win. They lose. And as far as the Chiefs go, even though I almost never see them win the Super Bowl in Sim, which is actually kind of strange now that I think about it, that's very beatable. Oh, my. The Bengals' defense is not good. Like, well, I mean, I haven't really watched them that, this much, that much this year. But on paper, they look terrible. So I imagine that they're not very good. But a 33.3 pass rating from Mahomes. 58 yards. If that ever happens, once again, it's... What happened to Mahomes? Is he injured? <laughs> How? I don't... That's got to be the lowest yards... For any quarterback starting through a full game in, I don't even know how many years in NFL history, it's got to be something, right? Maybe Jim Garoppolo against the Packers <laughs> last season. Even he, I think, had more yards than that. And they didn't run, they didn't pass the ball at all. I don't even know what to tell you, but yeah, that was a, an all-time bad performance. And even then, they still almost kind of won. Let's go to the Super Bowl, see who wins it, and then go on to the Le'Veon Bell side, which... Once again, oh, the Bears versus if the Bears versus the Bengals is the Super Bowl, and you chose the Bears from the very start of the season, you probably became a millionaire on like three dollars. Like it's that simple. All right, as far as Le'Veon Bell goes, I did upgrade his rating to an 86 simply because once again, actually having a viable passing attack will make him a better player. But more importantly, I expect because of all this, he will jump up in overall, I don't know what number he's going to wear, probably 26, I don't know who has 26, but I'll change that in a sec, uh, or I'll just lie about it and just not talk about it, but uh, I expect him to go back up in overall pretty quickly, uh, I just bumped him a little bit, he was an 84, he's now an 86, uh, we aren't going to start him though until week 9, uh, and then I'm going to kind of monitor that, I think what we're going to do is make it where he can come back into the lineup, he'll be a backup, get a little bit of stats, for maybe two weeks, and then I'm going to make the starter for him because if he's healthy, I expect they will give him the bulk just because of the size he is. You know, he is kind of built for that, and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire would be kind of more fitting as the, uh, like, fresh back. I feel like he would dominate as uh, the not-do-it-all guy rather than what he's so far doing pretty much. Uh, but without any further ado, let's go on to see, surprisingly, a worse season somehow. By the way, it doesn't affect me at all, but like, if da if they Chiefs do win the Super Bowl again and Damian Williams gets a ring, I'm going to be mad. Just saying. And the Chiefs miss the playoffs entirely. How is that even possible? But I'm not, I'm not the judge here, all right? I'm not the judge. The Chiefs in this one uh, came off kind of weak. We probably should have actually force won the games. Whatever, it's early enough in the season. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I really should have forced win those damn games. What the hell am I doing? But 
apparently the Chiefs are going to do worse with Mr. Le'Veon Bell than with not him, which is kind of strange here because looking at these numbers, Le'Veon Bell, when he actually came in and started, played, you know, I wouldn't say significantly better, but definitely better, uh, you know, better yards per carry, uh, same touchdowns through, you know, half of a season. He didn't really play, you know, he played less than half of a season for him. Uh, looking at Hardman, really good numbers. Tyreek Hill, don't know where he is on the, is he injured? Did I make a mistake? Was he not starting the whole time or something? Was Tyreek injured at the point of me starting this? He must not have been, right? I thought I saw him the whole time. Oh, don't tell me I made a whole mistake. Uh, as opposed to half of a mistake. <laughs> Let's look at the, uh, the yardage total. I might have to redo some of this. Uh, yardage wise, uh, passing... The offense was way better. It was like 7th or 8th. And then rushing 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. So 6th uh, worse in rushing. But 13th better in passing. Yet 5 less wins. The only thing you can chalk this up to is EA being very bad for franchise. I, I don't know what to tell you other than that. So basically... According to this, in, in, you know, in my analysis expertise, as I mean, that's that's what people come to me for for proper analysis for all things, everything, not even just the NFL, just like in life. Like, you know, there was a an asteroid coming towards Earth one time. Uh, you didn't hear about it because obviously I did. I saved the day. Uh, scientists came up to me and said, you know, what do we do? And I was like, oh, you know, here's here's a crazy idea. I just got done watching Armageddon the night before, and I, I gave him the idea, and boom, you know, everyone's saved. But besides all that nonsense, Le'Veon Bell is technically a good thing for this team. Of course, I think we can all agree that that was going to be the case. Uh, a guy like Mahomes is very easy to rally around because he's insanely talented. And, you know, that's typically how it goes. Even if you're like the worst person ever, you're still going to be like, yeah, he's still really good. I'm I'm just gonna listen to him, you know. Like uh, I I feel like that's the case. Even like and obviously he seems like he's not a bad person. So you know plus one there, plus one to personality rating. Um, but Le'Veon Bell is obviously going to help Clyde Edwards Hilaire a ton, uh, assuming Bell ever gets healthy here and you know actually buys into the team, which he should because it's you know you're going from crap in the hand to gold in the hand filled with diamonds and uh pearls and uh you know flying cars and whatnot but Le'Veon Bell should easily be a great I mean if they don't want to you know if they want to do it vice versa rather than him being the the bell cow cowbell what do they call it I don't know dude <laughs> uh and they want to put him on third down that should be lethal there too you know underrated receiver uh, the screen game could be dangerous. Le'Veon Bell for the Chiefs is definitely a good sign. At first, I was like, maybe that's a little overkill. And then I was like, well, Damian Williams did kind of like not want to play football because he's scared of things, which, I mean, in fairness, who shouldn't be? So maybe it's not the worst sign in the world. I will take a look, though. If this is... I'm going to be very disappointed in myself if... Now, Tyreek Hill must have played, though. So, yeah, I guess the, the video is done. EA Sim is bad. The Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl. Let's get it. <laughs> Regardless, thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!